Welcome again to Ports Vietnam. In this episode, we are looking at Bia Hoi. Bia Hoi, which translates as steam beer, is a very common type of drinking around Hanoi and across Vietnam. Uh, the beer is pre prepared fresh at a brewery every day, allegedly, and sent to lots and lots of places like this, where uh, people gather and drink a lot. It's very, very light, which is great for hot weather, although it's not very hot today. And um, it's nice. Today, you will be watching us uh, review a number of beer hoi around Hanoi. And for the purposes of reviewing it, we have brought marking criteria, which we have written up. There are a large number of different criteria that we've looked at. Um, and we're going to be rating each place according to this scale. Uh, there will actually be five points available for food and for beer. And also hygiene is going to be separated between the exterior hygiene, which is quite nice here, and the toilet, which probably will be awful. Um, so the maximum amount of points is 30, and we'll be letting you know how beer high song on some street somewhere in Buckfuck Nowhere, Hanoi, fares. What are you rating the beer out of five? I think maybe 0.4. Why? What because does it say? Beer tastes good from the first glass and is not noticeable deteriorate by the end of the day. Okay, cool. Hygiene points have been knocked down probably at least two down from five right now because they're sorting the ice for the beer on the floor. Uh, thankfully we don't have any ice in the beer so we should be all right. Yes. But, but points definitely taken off. I like it. Yes. You come here for the Nemchur. You stay for the beer. <laughs> so, so far we've agreed that this is actually a five. A five for food. Now what are we going to do about beer? I mean, the criteria say beer is full of flavour. That's for a five. Full of flavour. I'd actually go for good, and, and I'm definitely enjoying my second one more than my first, mm. which indicates that it's got some way to go. Mm. If it can get better, it means that the first one wasn't that great. That's true. I just don't feel a five, though. No. Do you know what I mean? I don't feel like a four. A four for meals. Now then, the last section is hygiene, and we are separating this. So far, like we've been here quite many times, and hygiene's been quite good so far. Have you ever had food poisoning? No. Here? Yeah. No. And we brought quite many people over. None of them Were they any. all Vietnamese? No, Western, like... Oh, right, well, no, well, no, we're fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. I see non-cleanness going on in this spot. Like, they've lost themselves a five. So... In the ice. The ice on the, the, floor. Ice on the floor, that they definitely. Down the mm. well, food, food, we're sticking, we're sticking with five. Five. Because it was consistently good, well priced. Beer is very good, but it got better, which indicates that it wasn't great. So four for beer, so it's five and a four, nine. Service got worse, and we were thinking about a three, but we're thinking it's worth a four. Right. Thirteen. Hygiene points? Uh, four. Four by the Ahoy standards. The big problem with the toilets was that the piss went straight from the urinal and just dropped through thin air into the <laughs> hole. But if it had if it had a pipe, if it had a down pipe, it would have been a fire. Yes. But it didn't. 17, I think. Yes. We'll confirm these scores later. General hygiene. We set a three because of the ice. Yes, I agree. I'm going with three overall. So that's down to 20. It's up to 20. And ambiance, we said four. Yeah. Because it has, it's got, it's thought of it. It's got nice trees. Yeah, it has a bit tree. of a quiet night. So on a different night, it might have got something else, but tonight it's four. Yeah. 24. 24 out of 30. 24 out of 30. Can you do a percentage? Percentage? No, I cannot. <laughs> uh, yes, I can. 80%. Oh, that's pretty good. Well done, beer high sum. 80%. Where are we, mate? 
it, this is the scene of much giggling, um, usually on Friday nights when we've been working too hard. But today it's a Sunday afternoon because it's been an open day, and we need a remedy for recruiting students to the remit, mm. and that is Baldy Kong. Baldy Kong. Yeah. Beer Kong Hoi. With its uh, cattle shed design. Which is a pity given that they do have probably the best view. Yes. Of any bear uh, high in Hanoi. True, they are right on Westlake, but you can't see Westlake because they put, unless I zoom right in, and no, you can't fucking see Westlake. It's a senior keg assessor. Three double plus. How are the nuts, Gino? How are the nuts? Moist. Moist. So we got food, sort of, after a fashion. Beef joints, apparently. I mean, the, the tofu has been pre-fried, maybe reheated. Um, the chips were incredibly oily. It was shite. The rolly things are nice, but there's no near enough wasabi. So there are problems with everything except for the ribs. We could, we, so what are we going with then? Uh, I would go for four. For four? Surroundings utilitarian rather than agreeable. Uh, totally. Yeah. Totally? So it's they, they would have had more points if they didn't have these blinds down, but the, the lowering of the blinds takes away the whole nice thing about so it. So three? Clearly. Well, how about I, I'd be generous to go for a four then? Because they are open, they are fairly clean. Oh, no, wait. No tap. The tap's broken off. It's not really hygiene, but yeah, we give three. All right. Dan and I were just saying that we haven't had to shout MI at all for the beer. They've shown a level of perception that is just non existent. Pre empting, pre empting is mentioned. Well, it's, it's for a five. Um, we're not the only ones here. A bunch of RMIT students that we uh, may have taught at some point in time, I have taught at least one of them, um, are also here at Baldy Kung's. So I'm going to go and ask them if they mind telling us why it is that they choose Baldy Kung's for their post open day boozing. Why do RMIT students choose? Baldi Kung. Okay? Because? Because this location is very near. It is very near. It's had a nice view. It has a nice view. It's close to work. Reasonable price. Reasonable price, thank you. The food is pretty nice. Romantic view. Romantic view? Beer. I like beer. And this is near the lake, so when I'm drunk, I can swim. You can swim! Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Hey. We're at um, Mott Bay Bak Sun, which is a uh, a beer hoi that's on the road that enters the botanical gardens in Hanoi. Uh, when we had all the old boys, um, Nick Canning, Trevor Edmonds, Ronan Keating? What the fuck is Ronan's surname? Anyway, um, all those people, all those people who were who were at um, RMIT, we'd come here on Fridays. It was like uh, Fridays at Friday beer hoi. And we would come here a whole load of times. And I love this place. I've only had food poisoning here once. It was bloody. But it was 
it was not it was not that bad. I like the ambiance. We're obviously going to rate all this later, but the fact that you've got the, the you can't see the botanical gardens at the end. You've got trees all around. This open space of having it on either side of the road. Sam, can you give us a little shot? Um, the fact that you've got the beer hoy on either side of the road, nicely done. It gives a feeling of space to a place that can get very, very busy, particularly on Saturday nights. Tonight is Friday night, but one of the best things is the menu. The things that are on offer are restoration workshop with garlic. Low shank. Dandruff beef hot pot. Longer to re-embed. Braised L with banana and bean curd. It sounds like food at least. Um, pleased me fried melon prices. And absinthe fried omelette. Yeah. So we're at the stage of the meal where I think we can rate the beer and the ambience. Um, the beer, it's fine. Yeah. It's beer hoi beer. I mean, it's beer hoi beer. It hasn't got much flavour, but... I think really there should only be two ratings for beer, and that should be fine and not fine. And this is That's fine. true, because there's never really good beer, is there? No, so I, I, guess, I guess a four. Okay. Because oh, it hasn't taken a couple of glasses to taste good, so four for the beer. Okay. And beyond, it's definite five. I'm, I mean, definite five, I agree. That's the, the reason I brought us here. Live and atmosphere, people talking. Uh, and trees. It's a, it's a nice early summer night as well, which helps, so we can kind of credit the beer hoi for, but the better does it. Four. It's quite good for the fried rice standard. It's not bad, eh? Yeah. How's that sample? Mm. Oily, but good oily. Good oily. Huh? Yeah, it's good. It's better than my fried rice. Um, the eel is fresh and looks like they put a lot of seasons into it and I think it's well seasoned and fresh. Good. Food is, is definitely a five for me. Um, why? Why would you like to give some reason? The uh, the zur 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 oh. something. Oh, Shark, good 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 and sharp. The eel was great. The bones could knock it down off a five, but no, not. fuck that. The bones went down else easily. Is a five plus. Mm. So it takes from a five plus to a five, but it's still a definite five. Okay. Service. Uh, I've got a constant anxiety about whether I'm going to have a beer in a minute. Right. And and that's not a good sign, you know, if I'm worrying when I've still got two-fifths of a cup. Do you think that just means you're an alcoholic? Or <laughs> <laughs> The bowls were clean, there weren't any rats or cockroaches, so... Yeah, overall. The toilet. Uh, an amazing quantity of vomit. And the amazing I, oh, it's still there. <laughs> that it's only one person's vomit. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because I looked at it quite closely, and it's the same vomit, and it's a lot yeah, of it. You looked closely. But, well, yes, we have to analyze it. But, PVC pipes around the whole thing, which are full of used that's coffee grounds. Yes, that's nice. And they absorb the spell. Yes, and flowers. I didn't know flowers because I was mesmerized by the vomit and the coffee grinds. But the coffee grinds, I was really impressed. No, I agree. I think that that's a fantastic idea. idea. So, what are we going to give them then? Well, four, I think. Uh, 83%. We couldn't have done that. That's okay. No, 83% with three recurring, which means that overall, Beer Mokbe Baksun actually wins out of three. Uh, which is surprising, because to be perfectly honest, I prefer high song. But <laughs> anyway, based on the scores that we've given, they do win. Join us next time for the uh, Beer Tui joint thing, but we're going to wait for the ke Keg Assessor-in-Chief to get back for that one. Okay, I'll see you there in like 20? <laughs>